forget, I'm gonna make myself a furnace. Before I forget. Alright. Because, again, cooking is cool when you want to eat. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not liking how, how this cave is setting up right now. These gaping holes there don't feel secure. But, uh, oh, oh, there's a creeper. Hello, you. So, I described, I talked about zombies and I talked about skeletons, but the, the sneakiest, most dangerous little guys in the game, in my opinion, okay, they might not be the absolute most dangerous, but they make a lot of victims. And they are called creepers. Oh, iron. They are called creepers, and they are creepy. Ugh, this sheep, that, that sheep falling right in front of the screen almost killed me with a heart attack. Damn sheep, don't do that. I don't have enough. So, oh, as you can see, nighttime is falling, so actually I, I think I'm gonna set up my furnace right now. And because I don't want monsters falling on top of my head while I'm doing all this, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna block off, uh, well, alright, pigs can go through, but no one else. You, you, just get on my way, I want that, I want that iron, man. Alright. A little bit of iron. A little bit more of iron. Yes, good, good. So, three iron, that is not a lot. That's not a lot of iron, but it's a start. Alright, let's, let's, let's start cooking steak. Over here. And, uh... Did I did I deploy the crafting table anywhere? No. All right. And uh, what am I? And I'm gonna make some uh, some leather boots. Ain't those fancy? I with this tuxedo and these leather boots. I mean. I can dazzle everyone at any square dance. You you name the square dance, and uh, I'm there, man. Dancing up a storm. Okay, eat a little bit, and now as I uh, as I put the little uh, leather boots, a new a new bar over the hearts has appeared, and that's my armor. So as you can see. I am now wearing the crappiest amount of armor possible that is superior to completely naked aka just uh, <laughs> just the tuxedo <clears throat> but hey we'll be improving that eventually at, at some point alright so slowly I gotta try to figure out how I'm gonna get down here safely because I, I don't want to jump down because that's that involves risk, and risk when you can avoid it. Well, it's it's always best to avoid risk when you can avoid risk. Does that make any sense at all to anyone? So, made stairs down into this cave. Very creepy, very scary, very creepy and scary cave. Okay. This is cobblestone. Right, oh. Let's get some coal. And how are you cooking? How are you cooking? Come on, baby. Give me these steaks. Cook faster. There you go, see? See, it wasn't that hard, was it? Alright, let's cook some iron whores. I know there isn't a W there, I'm just, I'm just being me. And pronouncing or whore because I am juvenile. And I have the maturity level of a 12-year-old. Uh, whoops. 
You know how... I'm terrible. I am failing at this game. All right. Let's explore a bit further. And keep in mind that I am under-equipped to face monsters. So what I do to avoid getting lost is I, I place the torches on the right side all the time. So if I want to return to my starting point, then I follow the path where the torches are on the left. And if I keep on the left, I can always find my way back. Um, I usually have an extremely good sense of direction and tend to not get lost. Even if I don't do this trick, but sometimes... Sometimes some of these uh, Minecraft caves are so extensive, so complicated, that they just get the best of me. And it's just safer to just stick to this principle of, uh, you know, of keeping, uh, of keeping the torches on one side every t uh, as much as you can, at least. That way you can always find your way back home. And ideally, you always want to avoid. Ah, oh, great. Falling into holes because fall damage hurts. Yeah, you know, I won't fight to get over there. Doesn't. Doesn't look like there's anything of great interest. But this iron over here, that is of pretty good interest to me. However. Never dig straight down, because you never know what is under the block you're 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 you're, you're mining. So there's always this risk that you could uh, be uh, digging the block that's over a giant hole, like these holes over here, and fall to your death. So you so basically, don't do the wily e. coyote type of mining where you mine directly below your feet. Hello, Zobert. You think you're gonna get me? Look, I put dirt in the way. There's no way you're touching me. <laughs> and I have a sword I can poke at you. <laughs> poke. <laughs> Dead. So, of course, now that I've mocked this zombie, karma will come back and bite me in the ass later on. And uh, I'll have deserved it, no doubt. If I ever, if I die from a zombie, it'll be in the main, in the, in the, in the 360 edition, dying from a zombie would be so humiliating.